We want to build an audio recorder app with Flutter where you can capture your voice and also play the audio that you have captured. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. For recording the audio and playing the audio, we will use this Flutter sound package, which is supported on Android, iOS and Flutter web. In this video, we will look specifically at the setup of Android and you can also go to the documentation and here you see then all the steps which you need to do for iOS and also for Flutter web. For Android, you only need to put here these two lines inside of your Android manifest file, which we will do later. All right, let's get started by creating the recording. Therefore, I have created here an elevated button with an icon and label. So you see here this button on the right side. And when we later click on this button, then he will start the recording. And we also want to change this button therefore. So if it is not recording, then we want to show here every time the other text, for example, stop, we show here then a stop icon. And we also change here the color of our button. So we have now two states of our button. If I set the flag to true, then we have a stop button. And if I set it to false, then we have the start button. Next, we want to record the audio if we click here on the start button. And therefore I have created here a new class where we first of all create here this audio recorder. And on this instance, we can then basically call the method start recorder to start the recording. And you also need to supply here then the location where you want to store your file, which was recorded. And therefore I simply add here a file name where it later will be stored inside. Next to recording the audio, we can also stop the audio and this is also pretty simple. So we simply call here this method. And lastly, we want to create here this toggle recording method, which is then calling here the stop and record methods. And here inside, we first of all check if our audio recorder is currently stopped. And if this is the case, then we want to start the recording. And if it is not stopped, then it is playing and we want to stop then our recorder. And this is already everything what we need for the main functionality. So now we can make use of this recorder. So we go back to our main file and here we create then a new instance of our sound recorder that we have created before. And in my case, I have put the record and stop method to private so we cannot call them because I only want to call here this method, which is more convenient for me right now. Let's go back to our main file and here we go then to this button, to this on press handler. So if we click on this button, then we want to simply call this toggle recording method and this will then start or stop the recording. And lastly, before we can use this recording functionality, we also need to initialize our recorder correctly. Therefore, we go here all the way up and create an init state method where we call then the init method on the sound recorder. And we also create here a dispose method to later clean our recorder again up by calling the dispose on our sound recorder. And now we want to create these methods init and dispose within our sound recorder class. So let's start here with the init method. First of all, we initialize here what we have declared here at the top. And secondly, you need to call here this method open audio session so that we can start the recording. Also, before you can start the recording, you need to ask for the permissions to the user. And therefore we have here this permission where we ask for the microphone permission. And secondly, we want to create our dispose method. And here we clean everything again up by calling this close audio session. And lastly, we also create here at the top a Boolean field if our recorder is currently initialized. And after we have done here all of these steps, then our player is initialized and therefore we set this flag to true. And secondly, after we have disposed our player, then we set it again to false because our recorder is not initialized anymore. And now we can use this flag to see if our player is initialized and to call our methods here correctly. So we want to call these methods only if our player is initialized. All right, and now it should work with recording our audio. The only thing what we want to do is also to add here a field is recording so that we can later check if we are currently recording or not. And secondly, we go then to our main file and here we have then this is recording flag and we set it before to false or true. However, now we simply want to use then this field directly from our recorder. And now if I click here on the start button, then it will start recording. However, it is not changing our button. And therefore you also need to go here down to this on press handler. And after we toggle here our recording, we also need to call the set state so that our UI gets here updated. 
and that this flag here is rebuilding new and is also building our button again. And now let's try it out. So I click on start and he will start the recording and I click on stop and then he will stop the recording. And to make this recording work, you also need to go to your pubspec jumble file and here under your dependencies, I add then two packages mainly. So this flutter sound light package and also this permission handler, which is then requesting the permission for using the microphone. And secondly, for the Android setup, you also need to go here inside of this Android folder app and here inside of this build gradle file. And here within this file, you need to scroll down until you come to this min SDK version. And this version you need to set then to 21 or higher. Next, you need to go inside of the source main folder and here to the Android manifest file. And here we need to add then the two permissions, record audio and foreground service. And with this setup completed, make sure to stop your application and start it again. And then you should also click here on this button and it should start and stop the recording. If you start the recording, it is also important to give the user then some feedback that you are currently recording. And this is what we are doing with this widget. And I have already created this up counter in another video, which I will link under this video. So we will not create it directly in this video. However, I also want to show you how we can use this timer. So basically this timer widget we have created in another video that I will link under this video here. And we want to access now the functionality of this timer widget. So basically we want to control this timer. So we want to call the method start timer and stop timer. To do this, we can easily create here at the top a time controller with which we then later can control this widget. And the time controller we need to extend then from the value notifier. And here you can then supply a type that is later stored here within this class. And you also need to override here then the supper method where you put then this Boolean flag that you have here put inside also inside of this supper class. And here inside we create then two methods start timer and stop timer. And these are exactly the method that we want to access here later. So we want to access here the start timer method and also the stop timer method. And within this value notifier, we have always here this value, which we now can use. So we set here the value to true or false, depending on if the timer is currently active or not. And lastly, we can put here this time controller inside of our timer widget. And then we go to our state and here we call then the init method. And here you can then basically call the method at listener on your controller. And now here inside, we can then access from our controller the value. And if it is set to true, then we want to start our timer. And if it is set to false, then we want to stop our timer. And we simply access here both of these methods that are created here inside of this widget. And lastly, we can now use this controller to exactly access here these two methods, start timer and stop timer. Therefore, let's go back to our main file. And here I have implemented this timer widget, which is here displayed on the right side. And now we want to initialize here within our state, basically here, this time controller. So this is the time controller that we have created before. And with this, we can then access here this timer widget. And lastly, we use then here this time controller and also put it here inside of our timer widget. And now we can use this timer controller to control this timer widget. Therefore, we go here all the way up to our start button. So this is here this button on the right side. And if we click on this button, then we are always toggling here the recording. So we start the recording or stop the recording. And we also want to get here after it simply the state. So if we are currently recording or not. And in case we are currently recording, then we want to call on our timer controller, the start timer method. And this will then start here the timer at the top from our timer widget. And in case we are not recording anymore, then we want to stop the timer. And then we want to stop here this counter at the top. And that's it. So if I click on the start timer button, then you see that this counter is going up. So we are calling here the start timer method. And if I click on the stop button, then we are calling the stop timer method and the timer is then resetted and also stopped. In the next video, I will show you how you can use the recorded audio. So you can click here on another button after you have stopped the recording. And after it, you can then click here on play recording and then it will simply play the recording that we have recorded before.
And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, then you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a better and more efficient developer. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Music